think he's starting to pack it in. minutes longer than Wednesday's test, and about 12 minutes longer than the one before that. It's remarkable how regular the increase appears to be, isn't it? Be interesting to see what happens when its expectation of removal is counted by its physical limits. Shouldn't be too much longer. Shall I schedule the tank for Monday, Doctor? Same procedure as last time. Uh, oh, yes, Stephen. Cambridge are anxious for us to go ahead with the social deprivation series. <laughs> we do have a monkey set aside for that, don't we? Just waiting for the go-ahead. Right, then get it into the cylinder this evening. Oh, and that tank, Stephen. Have it cleaned out, would you please? comes again. Will you get out? Do you drink it? Or does the sun dry it up? Or what? I don't know. I hate it, Snitter. The water's terrible. The wire's loose here, Ralph. Along the bottom. If I put my nose under it, I might be able to get through. Why do they do it, Snitter? I'm not a bad guy. I don't think they do it because they think you're bad, Ralph. It's safe. 
safe in here. I don't mean out of your kennel. I mean out of here. The whole place. We can do it. It's bad out there. Bad? Think of the water. What could be worse than that? Hours of struggling in the metal water with the white coats peering down into the tank, watching you. And one day you won't get out. They'll let you drown. If they say go in the water, I They're don't... not masters. I had a master once, and I know. Whatever the white coats are, they are not masters. Where are you going? How did you get loose? And what's that on your head? It smells of the stuff the white coats put over everything. The white coats made me better. First they made me ill, and then they made me better. I've been ill, you know. Look, Flatface, how does the tobacco man go through that door? He is usually carrying things, and he pushes it with his shoulder or his foot, and then edges through sideways. Let me tell you what happened when I was ill. First of all, the white coats made me better, as I said, and then they made me worse. I didn't know whether I was coming or going. First I was well, then I was... sort of disease in there. That's what the smell's about. and rain. Gutters and leaves smell. No good, though. Won't get through here. It's cold. My feet are cold. smell. Thank <laughs> you. 
your idea of fresh air and rain. This is where it's coming from. Fresh air, Ralph. Bloody hell is all this. Ralph, we can't stay here. The white coats will find us. We've got to get out. There isn't any. Yes, there is. You can smell it out there. We could be free. You bit me! I bit you. I didn't. Really, I didn't. You did. You hurt me. Get up and come with me, old Ralph. We're free. taken everything away. The houses, the roads, cars, pavements, the lot. How did they do it, Ralph? The white coats must have changed it, so they could do something or other to animals. My master never used to do anything to me. I don't want to hear about your master. When I was at home, my master... Aren't you listening to me? Masters are different, Ralph. You will see what I mean when we found one. Hmm. Suppose there aren't any masters left. What then? There must be. It's just that I wasn't expecting this. Look. Ralph, look. Everything's so still in there. If I was in there, covered over, my head would be cool. Things would keep still. If you fall in, they won't let you out. Well, it's better out here than in the pens, isn't it, Ralph? When are we going to eat? I'm hungry. The flies in my head, they keep buzzing. Feels like smoke.
Look how the wind sends the leaves running across the sky. There are the houses. I knew they couldn't have gone far. Come on, Ralph. We're all right now. from them. Did he hit you with that stone? No. If he had, I'd have really gone for him. You mustn't rootle about in dustbins. However nice they smell, not if masters are anywhere near. Makes them angry for some reason. The proper thing, if you want to get food out of a man, is to go and make friends first. Then he gives you something. You do the man before the food, not after. Where they keep meat and biscuits and things. Now, watch me, Ralph. And remember, do the man first. Hey, a dog with cap on. Oh, I look at that. <laughs> I must have made a mistake. It looked like a shop. One of them had a knife. They must cut them up on those glass tables in there. Oh, why has everything changed so much? Raoul. I'm blind, Raoul. The truck's coming. The truck's coming. Been run over, do you think? Nay. Hey. Not run over. It's been to Tibet. Look at the dressing on its head. It ought to be inside somewhere by rights. Must have got out. It's got this green collar, Jack. Nothing on it but a number. Let's put it in the back of the car line and get it on the road. Bloody hell! <laughs> I told you, Stidder. I told you. You think you know everything about men? They were trying to help me. They were masters. It was my head all on fire. I couldn't see. They were white coats. They were going to take you back. Are you all right? I think... Yes, I think so. Aye, there's two of them gone. I thought I'd better let them know, like, first thing. You said all the doors and windows were locked. There's just no other way they could have got out. Well, they'd not have gone far. Last time they were fed was Friday night. So I'll have to get some grub somewhere. If they'd been chasing sheep out, fell and all, that'd be a right do, that would. That's a fence against the law, you know. Being in possession of a dog as worries sheep.
take a good look. I was right. I told you. That, Ralph, is a master. A real master of dogs. We'll do what they're doing. Don't you see? And then the man will take us home with him. Oh, what luck! My master used to throw sticks or a ball. Well, they like you to run about and do things. Well, this man uses sheep instead of sticks, that's all. Oh, we'll show him, Ralph. We'll show him. Of all the... Aren't I out of their minds, chasing yows up and down fell, snapping and biting? Where's thy farm at? Where's thy master? Uh, I've nipped your yow too, thou bastard. It's bleeding. Lay off. You don't own this place. Don't own it. And I'd like to know bloody does. Hey, Wag, it says we don't own fell here. Bloody cheek. What do you reckon they're up to, then? What are you up to, then? Gallering, you daft sod. Seeking wool sheep, of course. And then he comes down like bloody bulls and spoils half hour's good work. Aye, there'll be tourists. The, with yon pat on the head. Where's the master at? Has he been hurt and thee run away? We haven't a master. We thought maybe your master. Hey, fill thee with lead, he will. Worrying sheep. We were only doing the same as them. Don't come by here, you wag. Come by here. We'd better get out of here. They belonged where they were. You could smell it. No white coat does anything to them. But what are we going to do? It isn't the world I left when I was sold to the white coats. Must have changed when I killed my master. Everything I do turns out wrong. You would kill me, wouldn't you? Ralph, I mean, if they tried to text back. What are you talking about? You're getting crazier all the time. We'd have been fed by now, wouldn't we? We couldn't even find our way back to the White Coats. I mean, supposing we wanted to. Do you want to go back? I don't know. There's nothing up here. I don't think anyone's been up here since it was May. Well, the White Coats won't come up here anyway. No, they won't come up here. But neither will your master. My master can't anymore. Ralph, if we don't find food soon, we'll die. I'm not going to die. Not without a fight. Who are you going to fight? There's no one here. I'll fight this. But we'll have to change. Change? Change to what? To what we used to be. Real animals. Wild animals. <laughs> We'll live by our teeth and kill. That's what we'll do. Kill.
those sheep belong to that man, then this one must too. We must get away. You leave this? We can finish it off later. Come on. Where? I don't know, down there. Into that valley. Slowly, Snitter, I'm sore all over. That sheep battered me to bits. It's most unfortunate. I still can't quite understand how it happened. As far as I can make out, there was a length of wire netting loose, and 815 must have got under sometime that night. But if the door had been fastened, it wouldn't open of its own accord, would it? It is possible that Tyson didn't shut the door properly, of course. They couldn't have got into Dr. Goodner's section, could they? No, no, no. Uh, we're quite sure of that. That was the first place I checked. I've spoken to Dr. Goodner, and he's sure that... Yes, the well, that's something anyway. I can't, Snitter. You'd better go on. I've... I've had enough. Maybe I'll feel better later. But if you stay here, Ralph, in the open... Might as well lie here as anywhere. Where are we going, anyway? I've got to stop, Snitter. My leg hurts. Listen, listen to me. Go away, let me alone. I found a place, Ralph. A sort of house. A secret. Dry out of the rain. They won't find us there. Man must have made it. No, no, Ralph. I'm sure I found something good. How can anything be good in a place like this? Come and see. never go backward, do they? They go only one way. They must be starving by now. Suppose they start worrying sheep. Well, then some farmer will shoot them, or realize where they're from and get on to us. In which case, we'll only have to pacify one local instead of the whole district. It's a damn shame, though. All that work on those dogs gone for nothing. God almighty. They've left little enough. Well, it's not just them. I don't think some other creature's been at it. You're right. I can smell it. I don't know what it is, but it makes me angry somehow. It's not here now. Yes, it is. Lurking about, watching. I can feel it. Stay where you are. I mean it. Are we no kidder? No need for you and me to start battling. Where'd you get that crack on the head, bonny lad? The road was black and white, and then the truck came. 
and lightning shot down my head. It is a dog, isn't it? He's a thief. Now give over. Let's all be mates. No need for a Barney. Stick with me and we'll all be champion. Else you'll soon be dead. Dead? Aye, dead. And no argument about it. We're not about to die. No? Why, can he have got no chance at all? I've been watching you the last two days. You're not last. Hollering your heads off, racing about the fell. What do you mean? What do you say? Just a proposition, bonny lads. If you'll hunt and kill with me, I'll keep you reet, then you'll get your meat. You'll run through the neat and follow me feet. Oh, I don't understand a word he's saying. He's saying he'll show us how to live out here if we let him share what we kill. Aye, laddie. That's it. Why, you'll have no bother with me. I'm a delicate eater. I do not but pick at me meat. He'll cheat us and run away when it suits him. Bloody thief, that's what he is. Well, we've nothing to lose. He's a sharp one, Ralph. If you're still here when it's light, we'll decide what to do then. Ah, now you're talking sense. Keep tight a hold of your meat and good luck go with you. What do you call yourself? I'm the Todd. Todd, you know. Can he start on Moss and Moor? It's not like having a master. Even the white coats fed us. Peter wanted to find some man who'd take us to his house and look after us. I told him it was a silly thing to expect. You're right, laddie. Guns and dogs and traps and all. Have you ever had anything to do with men? Aye, now and again. But as a rule, as little as possible. You'd be loose in the head to seek out the likes of them. Live as a wild animal. That's what I mean to do. Oh, aye. Without me, bonny lad. If you go the way you're going, you'll have no more than three morns. I've not seen a dafter pair. Lying flat out on the fells like there was neither dogs nor shepherd about. You kills a sheep, bolts it down, keeps away for a spell, and comes back like pubs. You pair of daft twits. But mind, you pull yon yow down clever, though. By hinny, you're a hard one. I'm still bruised all over. Not either, as ways of getting stuck in hard, and ways of ducking out. With me beside you, a great hard bugger like you would have no bother at all. You'll sharp learn the ways. You kill sheep, then? Well, maybe a wee lamb in the spring, if the chance comes. But you could take care of any size. Come to that, you could both be dab hands. And you think you could help us to live out here? Aye. Us Todds were used to running, till the dark comes anyway. The dark? What's the dark? That's the place when you stop running for good. And unless I'm along, that'll be in no time at all. What do you mean? I won't have to kill it. No need to, Hinny. But it'll be moving sharply, so you'll have to watch yourself. You don't want to go down with it. It'll be coming up as fast as we can drive it. Do you think you can do it? Ah, don't worry. You'll manage, can he? Snitter. Well done, Snitter. 
How far down do you think it is? A canny way down. But better than getting bashed about, isn't it? What's happened to you? You mean your head? It's just a hole. Not all that strange, not really. Holes. After all, I've seen holes in cars and pipes, you know, running under the road. Of course, that was before the truck came. Time we were going down. You'll be no doubt hungered like me. You see, there's nothing to it, lad. The next one will be yours. Now go on, lad. Don't want to hang about. There's some bloody beast or other living up there. There is that. Two sheep inside eight or nine days. Where did you find them? First one were almost at the top, but it's real steep. And it were two year old, not an old one, Bob. I saw its teeth and all. And t'other were out by town near rough ground. They were both the bloody same, pulled to pieces. No fox could have done it. That'll be dog then. Bloody hell. Have you got no brains in your head, you great nit? As soon as me back's turned and you're bloody up and... Could you not wait till I tell you? You great stupid... What's the matter, Todd? What did he do? What did he do? Kill out in the open, right on the shepherd's trod, clarting the place up with blood. Do you think he's blind? You for it, Henny. Your arse will be inside out by morning. I'm not biting with you lot. Me, I'm going. Where are you going? Oh, I'm just going to bark at the farmer's door. Maybe he'll let me shove me head up his gun. Save a lot of bother, that will. Todd! Todd! Wait! Let him go. A good riddance. I was just wondering what it would be like to have a master. The kind you talk about. But there's no one. Only us. The dark that Todd talks about, it's, it's all around us. I can feel it. Right, come on, out again. Not too early for you. Too early, it's always too early. How are you? All right. I'm all right. I'll be a damn sight better if we can get this business over with. Give us a bite now, kidder. There'll be no left. You're quick enough to come crawling around for a piece. Now, hang on, lad. I've come back to tell you to lop off sharp. The farmers are down in the valley, heading this way. Dogs all over the place. And they've got guns. How's it going to end, running around these mountains? We've got to go, Ralph. The Todd's right. We're wild animals now. Are we going now, or do I go myself? And you'd best be sharp. Maybe what they're doing to us is right. I'm a good dog snitter. 
You're no dog at all now. You're a sheep killer. They'll blast your ass out, Hinny. No trouble. I tell you, we'd best be off or you'll both be dead or dying inside half an hour. They're shifty and they know their way about. They got away going through that old disused mine, the one near Lever's house. It's bloody irresponsible it is, letting dogs loose on Phil. I just had an idea, Dennis. Wasn't old Harry Tyson saying something about lost dogs? He's over at Coniston, isn't he? With the research station. Aye, that's right, he is. Coniston's government controlled. Government department responsible for sheep killing dogs. Be real embarrassing, that would. They'd not like it at all. Not at all. There's plenty I could say if I was stuck in court. Well, it's a serious matter, Harry. It's sheep killing. And there's no doubt they're dogs. Can't be nothing else. Living systematically off a sheep. But the boss of the lab says say nothing. And them as pays the piper calls the tune. Can I help you? I'm ringing to ask if you're missing any dogs. Um. Could you tell me a little more about this, Mr. My name is Williamson. I farm sheep up Donadale way. How do you come to be asking us? There's sheep being killed in Donadale. Three or four of them. And I'm not the only farmer who reckons it's stray dogs. No, I'm just asking for a straight answer to a straight question. Have you lost any dogs? I'm sorry, I can't tell you straight off the cuff, Mr. Williamson, but uh, if I... There must be somebody there who knows how many dogs you've got. Uh, may I ring you back? I hope it'll be soon. There's some chaps here who have to work for a living. Thunder. That yow. Well, fell that uh. one. Telling this Williamson that he had nothing to say was exactly the right line to take. He's going to think that's very suspicious. And what about Tyson? I've already had a word with Tyson. The most he can say, if he's asked, is that two pens were found empty. You think Williamson's going to accept that? I don't think we're under any obligation to answer that farmer's questions. If he thinks evil, let him prove evil. If he can. Come on, then. 
That's a good fella. Come on. Yes, that's it. Come on, boy. Who did that to you? Come on, then. Yes, that's it. Come on, boy. Come on. That's it. Come on, up we go. There he is! There's one of the buggers! Sneaky sods. Are they looking for us? Who else? Let's away now and stop your yammering. Not without Snitter. If they're hunting the valley for us, Snitter's in danger. That may be, Hinny, but that looks like real trouble. Mr. Ackland, I wonder if you'd consider doing a small job for me. Uh, who's this I'm talking to? Boycard. Dr. Robert Boycard. I'm with the Lawson Park Experimental Station in Coniston. Oh, I? What kind of job? Well, I understand that there are two dogs that have been worrying sheep up near Thirlmere. If you have the time, I'd... I'd be most grateful if you could see your way clear to ensuring that they... they don't do any more damage. searching for the past two days. What happened to you? Didn't you hear it? I mean, when the air all blew to pieces. I know it's my fault, but I didn't do it on purpose. What blew to pieces? What are you talking about? We're dead, you and I. I've killed us both. I've destroyed everything. Now, calm down and tell me everything. I was coming back. And all the grass and stones in my head were very loud. Sort of humming, like a strong wind. And I was on a road, like last time. He called me and smiled, and I went to him. And everything smashed to pieces. I smashed it like I did the other time. It all comes from me, Ralph, out of my head. I killed that man like I killed my master. That's why we're here now, like this. We'll be punished, Ralph. They can't do anything worse than they've done already. Everything bad comes out of my head. Don't you see? Perhaps dying... Even... Dying doesn't stop it. 
I don't understand what you're saying. But as for dying, I'll fight before I'm killed. They'll shoot you, Ralph, when they come with guns. The noise breaks the world to bits. If we send someone up there now, we'll have a national exclusive. Oh, I'm sure we can do a big number on it. Exclusive from our reporter in Cumberland, etc. all that, and then the whole thing falls in the middle. We could look very foolish. Suppose a farmer shoots the dog next week. That'll be the end of it. That's not the point. In the first place, half the conservation groups in the country were opposed to the lab being set up in a national park. Secondly, no one has the teeniest idea what on earth it is that they're doing there anyway. Do any of you? No. Now there's talk of sheep killing and a member of the local gentry gets himself shot by the dog. Ah, but was there a dog involved in the shooting at all? There were muddy paw marks on him and I've got a feeling about this one. Get someone up there right away. Today, in fact. Are you awake? Yes, I am. Did you hear that noise? Do you think it's a sheep got in at the back? Well, I can't tell. Wait a minute. Hey, there's two dogs down there. They're putting the rubbish all over the place. Oh, what a nuisance. The two dogs, are they? I've not seen them before. Lord save us, whatever happened to that little one? Its head, look, it's almost cut in two. Did you ever see anything like it? What the other one? The big one. Hey, do you remember what Venice said? Yeah. That must be the dog that killed poor Mr. Chetwin down at Cockley Bay. Well, don't go down, Vera. I am going down. I'm not hiding indoors like a couple of stray dogs pulling rubbish up and down the yard. Be off with you! <laughs> go on! Will you get <laughs> out of here? Go on! Go on! Out! I don't think this one's likely to give any trouble, Vera. Poor little thing. I think it's sick. No wonder either, with that head. Look at it. What it's frightened to death. Here, now, what's your name, then? It, it might be best not to touch it. Might have something catching, especially if it's come from that research place. We'll shut it in the shed and telephone the police in Broughton. They'll know what to do. You're looking for me? The way you're running, I thought your arse was afire. Isn't it is a bad trouble? Your wee friend still lost, is he? Just come with me quickly, please. We need you. Zero zero five, go ahead. Zero zero nine. Can you hear me? I'm inside my head now, and it's where I should be. This is no time for one of your turns. Come on out, you great fond fool. Sharp with you now, before we're all caught. I can't come out. If I do, I'll go mad again. Move yourself. Sharp now, you great nanny hammer. Get out of the way. Right in front of you. That drain. Follow it to the end. That's the way out of the shed. <laughs> we keep fairly accurate records of our animals. I'm sure you do, sir. So this identification will be a matter of personal as far as the laboratory is concerned. If you'll just come through to you, see it. Look! There! He's getting out! Bang! The book of bit me! I'm 
I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, it's all right. Oh, fill it up, please. As a matter of fact, we've had a bit of a rumpus. Quite a to-do while well, it lasted. Really? Early this morning, some stray dogs broke in and upset our dustbins. Both the dogs had green collars, and they say that means they come from the Coniston Research Place. We had one of them shut up in the shed, and a young gentleman come over from Coniston with a policeman. Uh, positive identification night. But he got away. Yes, of course. The dog, I mean. Oh, that was oh, they don't come back. We'll try to see that they don't. The sheep killing's a nasty business. I did read about that in the paper. Something to do with a man being killed, wasn't there? I still need to get a proper look at them. They both had green collars on. Did you not see that one as it was pushing itself through the drain hole? Kind of a terrier it was. With that terrible gash. And I don't know where a dog could come by <laughs> such a cut across the head as that terrier had, except by... <laughs> Well, by vivisection, if that's the right word. It was a terrible sight. Well, it had just about got away by the time we got there, so I really didn't get a good look. <laughs> I've got to stop by the station first, Mr. Powell, before I take you back to Coniston, if that's all right. I'm heading towards Coniston, Mr. Powell. I'd be happy to give you a lift. Oh, well, uh, that's most kind of you. Thank you very much, Miss... Uh... Driver. Then driver. <laughs> Away now. We've got to get the wee fella back before night. He'll manage well enough. But if the dogs were from the lab, they couldn't have been in good enough physical condition to kill sheep, could they? Well, I'm not so sure about that. 732 was a biggish Labrador, and strong. We were doing some survival endurance tests with it doing fantastic time. And the other dog? Well, I, I wouldn't think it's likely to be alive, much less our killing sheep. It had a pretty drastic operation a short while before it escaped. What sort of operation? A brain operation. Something quite new, I think. Confusing the subjective with the objective in the animal's mind. I think that's right. I wasn't all that involved in it. Terrible waste, you know. Mm -hmm. All that work down the drain. Now we'll never know if it was successful. I suppose there are compensations, defense contracts, hush hush stuff. <laughs> oh, I don't get that sort of work. Goodness, the chap for that. seen it before. It's salt in the weeds. It's all water there. If only I could have stayed inside my head this morning, I might have been able to decide how to get there. How to reach it. It was the police. I had to go. By going with him, it looks as though we're admitting our connection with the matter. Oh, well, it can't be helped now. Perhaps our best course is to make a short announcement acknowledging that two dogs have escaped. Do you think that'll satisfy All they're concerned them? with is not getting involved. They know the kind of work we do here. If we prove to be an embarrassment, they'll drop us in a minute. <laughs> Lakeland shopkeeper Phyllis Dawson was awakened early yesterday by two dogs which have recently been causing havoc with farmers around Dunnerdale in the heart of the Lake District. Scientist Stephen Powell hastening 80 miles from the Lawson Park Animal Research Station, arrived too late to call the to go to the shed in which Mrs. Dawson had managed to travel. Accidental death? Ah, well, that's all he could have found. Couldn't have found nothing else, Dennis, could he? He never said nothing about a dog, though, did he? But it was a bloody dog brought it about. Well, coroner couldn't bring that up. No evidence. And even if he had, they'd still call it accidental death, wouldn't they? Aye. But if the coroner had pinned blame fair and square on the dogs, then the police would have to do something. Go out, find them, and shoot them. The way it's been left now, we could lose a couple of more sheep tonight and three next week, and nobody'd give a damn. Are these dogs indeed a public danger, as local farmers hotly maintain, or are they wrongly blamed? This is Lynn Driver reporting from Coniston.
Wait a minute, Ralph. I know where we are. That first night after we escaped, after we left those sheepdogs who got so angry with us. Would you remember? And then we changed into wild animals. You two? Wild animals? Don't be daft. This story of his about killing a man with a gun, is it true? Or is it just a crack in his head talking? As far as I can make out, it's true. I don't know how it happened exactly. You know how it goes on. Hey, the little bugger. Shoot a man. Now that's something. Mind it's bad. Oh, damn these cobwebs. Your mate's gone daft as a brush, you know. If I had the sense I was born with, I'd be off on a weir and leave you to it. You're always leaving when it gets rough. Give over, bonny lad. No need to go on so. Do you know why we're still alive? With hundreds, maybe thousands of men that'd be glad to kill us? They wouldn't dare. I've only got to drown, or jump under a truck, and the sky will fall down, and all the men will die. Have you ever thought of that, Ralph? That puts us one up on them. I'll tell the pair of you why. Because I know them, the way they think. So as long as you do what I say, we'll stay ahead of them. If not, there's just no chance. I don't have nothing to do with it. It's secret, like I told you. Do you have any idea what he does? He works in a special place line. It's kept locked. But I do know it's got to do with rats. Dr. Goodner was talking to me about disposed of the beast's bodies, and I seen a letter at his office. It was from government. And that secret. What I want to know is, how did the media get hold of all this? Have you said anything to anyone? Me? <clears throat> no, no, not a thing. You're absolutely certain? Not to anyone? Well, I, uh, I might have mentioned something about the dogs to a lady who drove me back to the lab after the incident with the police. <clears throat> Nothing about goodness work or, or bubonic plague. Well, I couldn't, could I? I didn't even know he was working with the damn plague. Two of them blathering away. What's that you're licking off your face? Oh, eggs, Hinny. There was a layaway nest in the nettles round the back. I ate the whole lot. And what about us? Goes in there. Stop. 
stuffed himself full of eggs. I'm finished with him. And for good this time, we don't need him to help us. We never did. He can't help what he is. Anyway, I admire him. He's natural. Natural? It drives me crazy. But Ralph, the Todd warned us. I don't care what the damn Todd said. We're going to eat. Didn't they say something on telly about dogs with green collars escaping from Lawson Park? Plague, they said. Well, what are you going to do with them after they're shot? Let them go. And let them take contaminated chickens with them. I'll call police. They can catch them if they want. Awkward. If the media are intent on making a meal of this plague business, it could be extremely awkward. I agree. But tell me, could the dogs, in fact, have had any contact? Almost certainly not. Boycott says it's out of the question. But, uh, fleas, cracks, doors. Precisely. How can the Secretary of State stand up in the house and swear for certain that not a single flea escaped and popped on one of the dogs? Damn. He was only doing what he'd have done for himself if he was alone. I wish you hadn't driven him away. Never come back now. Good riddance. Just the smell of him. My paws starting to hurt again. It's getting harder and harder. Like... Like... Like what? Like the white coat's tank. Last night, the medical officer of health for Coniston reported that farmers near Glen Ridding were attacked by two dogs thought to be those escaped from the Lawson Park Animal Research Laboratories. The dogs, one described as a fox terrier with a wound on his head and a mixed Labrador retriever, have been terrorizing a large section of the Lake District, killing sheep and other livestock. Of perhaps more importance is the accidental killing of wealthy landowner Mr. Piers Chetwind, with whose death the dogs are implicated. The police have asked the public to look out for the dogs and phone them at Coniston 1798 should they be seen. Oh. You suppose they've done it? Try and kill us, I suppose. They're trying to make it too cold for us to live. Oh, they're clever. Everywhere we go, they can see where we've been. No, they can't. They've been too clever this time. As long as this stuff goes on falling, it blots out the marks we make.
there have been new developments on the plague top story from the Lake District. Here, from the scene, is our reporter, Lynn Driver. We have with us Geoffrey Westcott, who was attacked by the dogs which have been terrifying Lakeland for the past four weeks. Mr. Westcott, can you tell us exactly what happened? I just got out of the car uh, for a minute, about five miles north of Dunmail Ways, when all of a sudden I saw these dogs. Mad dogs, and that's what they were. There were two of them, both wild and ferocious as wolves. I don't know if Plague sends its victims mad, but I wouldn't be surprised. And did these dogs attack you? Well, not me, exactly, but my car. They took everything edible. I happened to have my pocket camera with me, so I was able to get some photos. These are the photos Mr. Westcott took. You can just make out the numbers on the collars. With the help of these photos, we've been able to verify that these are indeed the dogs accused of killing sheep and other livestock in the Lake District. But are these the dogs from Lawson Park Research Station, as these collars appear to confirm? And if so, what's so secret that for nearly three weeks the authorities there denied these animals escaped? This is Lynn Driver reporting from the Lake District. What are you doing here? Nowhere to go. How does that mean? You've not been biding on fell all night. Where have all the sheep gone? Sheep? You don't leave sheep on fell once it starts to snow. All the sheep were brought down yesterday and damn cold work it were and all. Where? Come by here! You what? I've never seen anything like it since there were that dog reckoned sick with rabies. Rabies? What's that? You not know? It's a sickness. Kills dogs. I'll bet the gaffer thinks now he's got it, else he'd not have run. But you're not afraid of us. Nay. I'd know right enough if thou had sickness. Ah, you're thin, the both of you. Do I know thee? Didn't recognize us. What are we going to eat, Ralph? There aren't any sheep. We won't need food when we're dead. Or names, for that matter. God. I wonder who the buzzers will like best. You or me. I hope you make sure we're properly dead before you start, old Ripbeak. I'd rather die here than in the white coat's tank. It's little enough dignity we've got left.
sort of lagged a bit behind you. Todd, what I said before, I'm sorry it was... No need to be sorry about anything. But if it wasn't for you, I'd be dead now. We're certainly not denying the two dogs got out. We said as much in an early press release, but... What happened to them after that, I'm afraid I can't tell you. You'll forgive me, Dr. Boycott, if I can't help feeling that that's just a shade lacking in, well, frankness. When we say something here, it's always 100% reliable. But for all practical purposes... Would you care to amplify that a little? No, I don't think I would. It's really a matter between the local health authority and the responsible government body. If they're not bothered... Not bothered? They're not bothered that any risk of bubonic exists. Now, if you want to know more than that, excuse me, please. Dr. Boycard? You're sure it was one of ours? A green collar? Um, well, yes, I'll, I'll ring you back. Uh, yes, immediately. And uh, someone will be down at the station straight away. I hope that my right honourable friend will be able to deal with this rather serious matter promptly and not make it a political issue. We have learned, not because the research station told us of their own accord, but because the media reported it and they could not deny it, that these dogs may have been infected during their escape with bubonic plague. So, this is how we find out that scientists are studying bubonic plague at Lawson Park. We do not know why they are doing this, but since the disease has not been a serious public health risk for many years, one must assume that the work is connected in some way with defense. Should such work, if necessary at all, should not be carried out in the middle of a national park. I come finally to the matter of the distressing tragedy which occurred two days ago. It would be pointless for me to try to allot blame for a thing of this kind. The point is, and I address this to my right honorable friend, the Secretary of State for Defense, what is going to be done? I am glad. I am glad my right honorable and gallant colleague is not attempting to ascribe any kind of blame to the Ministry of Defense. And indeed, the member for Keswick is right in demanding quick and decisive action. Accordingly, the ministry is taking the following steps. Two companies of the 3rd Battalion of the Parachute Regiment are at this moment on their way to the Lake District. Tomorrow, they will begin an intensive search of the most likely areas, and they will continue until the dogs are found and destroyed. And Mr. Speaker? Devonport, ordinary people, and that includes honorable members, have no idea at all of the distressing use these animals are put to. The House must have an opportunity, through a parliamentary inquiry, to fully examine the conduct of experiments at Lawson Park. B Company will go three miles down the valley to Estdale Green, where they'll deploy two platoons north of the river and two south, maintaining lateral communications. Search any cover that might conceal the dogs. Sergeant, let your dogs range freely until they get the scent. You do not, on any account, break the line of advance. The C Company will deploy widely as practical and will start patrolling down the air strip. Operational HQ will remain in radio telephone contact and in ground-to-air contact with the helicopters. 
If the helicopters spot the dogs anywhere along the tops, they'll inform HQ and further orders will be issued as appropriate. Do you think they're looking for us? No one else, laddies. They're going to kill us, Ralph. They're watching us. If we can get across the valley without them seeing us, we'll be away and free. Fly it out of my head. Look. They've grown huge. Circling round and round over the hills. I'll go ahead and see how the land lies. Make sure he doesn't get crazy and start shouting. We don't need that just now. He knows what he's doing, that one. We've never been very good at being wild, have we? We just started too late. Doesn't look like it'll be much longer now. You ought to be back in Kendrick by this evening. Oh, yes, it looks that way. You're sorry for the dogs, don't you, Major? It's this whole damn business. Well, they have caused a lot of damage. And eating that man's body. Damn it, that's exactly the point. They were starving. They didn't set out to cause all this havoc. The place is crawling with me. I've never seen anything like it. That's the fly I've been talking about. Got out of my head. They're white coats. Todd, come across the valley. Is it safe? We might get lucky. Now, whatever happens, don't stop. Remember, keep moving. me or miss. I've got a few tricks up my sleeve that ought to surprise him. Have a wheel, lads, and do as I said. Straight across the valley and up the other side. I'll be too busy with me to bother with you.
Boy, up here. The undersecretary. Well, yes, of course I speak to him. Good afternoon, sir. It has been uh, inconvenient. I've taken steps to ensure that it doesn't happen again. Suspend work completely, sir. Uh, couldn't we perhaps? No, no, of course not, Miss. Uh, I understand completely. I'm not going back. They won't take me back. Look there, Ralph. Look out there. It's our island. Don't you see it? That's where we have to go. We can be free. They're directly in front of you. Poor little bastard. Move forward. Get it over with quickly. Wait! Wait for me! It's a wonderful island. It awaits. I can't see anything in front of us. I'm getting tired. I can't seem to move my legs anymore.
The future lies within your heart I don't feel no pain no more I don't feel no pain no more I've left this cruel world behind I found my peace of mind I don't feel no pain no more Yes, I know I'm going home Yes, I know I'm going home When I reach the end You know I find a friend Yes, I know Thank you. 